We present CROM, Continuous Reduced Order Modeling of PDEs Using Implicit Neural Representations. Many science and engineering problems are posed as partial differential equations with spatial temporal dependent continuous vector fields, such as the diffusion, Navier Stokes, and elastodynamics equations. To solve these PDEs, traditional numerical solvers discretize the vector field with P spatial samples. When the spatial discretization resolution P is large, computational time becomes intractable, making them unsuitable for time-critical application. We propose to speed up the computation by building a low-dimensional representation of the continuous vector field using implicit neural representations. The latent space vector Q's dimension R is orders of magnitude smaller than the PD degrees of freedom employed in the traditional numerical solver. Therefore, instead of updating PD degrees of freedom, we reduce the computation cost by updating the low-dimensional latent space vector. To temporally evolve the latent space vector, we first inference the network. We next temporally update the vector field according to the PDE. And lastly, we invert the network. In our framework, neural networks only serve as spatial representations. We do not learn the PDEs themselves. The time-stepping scheme remains completely PDE-based. Therefore, we conserve physical laws, integrate with existing high-performance solvers, and obtain orders of magnitude speedups. To summarize, whereas prior reduced order models build a low-dimensional representation for the already discretized vector field, and thus suffer key limitations involving discretization-dependent architecture and memory consumption, and no adaptive discretization, our continuous reduced order model formulates the low-dimensional manifold for the continuous vector field itself, using implicit neural representations. As such, we overcome the limitations of prior reduced order models and now have discretization independent architecture and memory consumption, as well as adaptive resolution. To explore this idea, we can start in 1D with an initial temperature field U and evolve it subject to the Fernal Dynamic Diffusion PDE using spatially varying diffusion speeds. To train our approach, we generate data exploring a wide range of diffusion speeds taken across three different regions. With the model trained, we then explore new combinations of diffusion speeds in order to test. Notably, our approach is able to reduce the dimension by over 95% when using our robust sampling scheme to accurately solve the heat equation. Since our approach does not approximate the PDE itself, the reduced simulation accurately captures the energy conservation behavior over time. To see how our approach extends to 2D, we explore spatially targeted blurring of an image using the diffusion equation. Similar to 1D, for training, we collect diffusion results on different quadrants of an image. And then we blur new combinations to test. We see that in higher dimensions, our sampling scheme allows us to reduce dimension by 99.9% while achieving high accuracy. Notably, our manifold architecture operates independent of the number of pixels, leading not just to results that are more accurate than traditional methods, but 11 times more cost-effective when it comes to memory consumption. Our approach can also handle transport-dominated, slowly decaying, Kolmogorov and with problems that are often difficult to treat with classic model reduction techniques. Here we see the effectiveness of our continuous approach versus other POD and convolutional autoencoder type approaches and advecting you for a fixed latent space dimension. Even when looking at Berger's equation, which models nonlinear dynamics, we find CROM is more accurate and does not exhibit artifacts at points of nonlinearity, providing better tracking and convolutional autoencoder and POD methods. Furthermore, due to our resolution independent architecture, we achieve these results with 12 times less memory than convolutional autoencoder methods. Next, we look at our ability to capture incompressible Navier-Stokes equations by exploring Carmen Vortex Street examples. Our latent space dynamics solver accurately captures the flow at steady state, at bifurcation, and after when exhibiting the periodic vortex shedding regime. Thanks to our kinematics approximation-only nature, our approach generalizes beyond the training temporal range. We can see that our latent space dynamics solver is able to track the ground truth for extended periods of simulation across difficult flow states. 
In comparison to previous ROM approaches, we outperform when up against both classical and neural network autoencoder approaches of the same latent space dimension. Our approach also captures the extreme nonlinear deformations from solid mechanics. Even in higher dimensions, our method is able to predict the deformations over a wide range of material properties. Yet, instead of computing every degree of freedom in the high resolution mesh shown here in pink, our approach drives the dynamics via only a few samples the sparse, colorful spheres. Courtesy of reducing dimension, our method is 41 to 109 times faster than the ground truth simulation with only 1.46% of the error. We find that a naive down resolution leads to a comparable runtime with our approach, but the resulting quality is significantly worse. Compared to our approach, prior discretization dependent approaches use 26 times more memory than our method while suffering from a larger error of 5.76%. Notably, our method scales favorably to the memory footprint of other methods, such as the autoencoder approaches of Fulton and Shen, even with increased size of latent space dimension R. Continuous reduced order modeling also outperforms prior methods, including POD and the autoencoder methods of Fulton and Shen, regardless of the size of the latent space in terms of yielding better accuracy. When prior reduced order modeling approaches are constrained to fixed discretizations, they face a dilemma between accuracy and efficiency. Our discretization agnostic approach allows for adaptive remeshing. We obtain balance between accuracy and efficiency with 35 to 48 times speed up over the entirely high res treatment. Even in cases of extreme deformations, such as the comparison shown here, ROM performs competitively in its agreement with the ground truth. Notably, it achieves strong alignment with target deformations while consuming orders of magnitude less memory. Thank you.